It's a treasure trove worth several million dollars and growing. Most of these paintings by Matisse, Dix, and Lieberman were labeled degenerate art by the Nazi regime. In the 1930s and 40s, they were taken from private collectors and museums, and many have not been seen since. The reclusive collector Cornelius Gerlitt inherited most of these paintings from his father and reportedly bought others openly and legally on art markets. If you look into this collection, or some of the paintings we know now, uh, some of them are looted art. Nobody knows how it came in his property or in his possession. Global art markets are awash with works of art that have unknown provenance or gaps in their ownership histories. Of these, many have changed hands openly or behind closed doors repeatedly since World War II. The World Jewish Congress reports some 110,000 pieces of art worth up to $30 billion are still missing. Most were confiscated from Jewish families who either fled Europe with few belongings or were killed in the Holocaust. Julia Schrups is among thousands of Jews trying to recover valuable art and antiques that were taken from his family in the 1930s. His great uncle had a famous collection but sold it at a discount to save his life. One of the paintings is a portrait by Max Lieberman. This portrait disappeared uh, and we don't know where it is. I'm sure it is somewhere, but where? Julia Schubs has identified several family paintings in American museums, but is unable to repossess them due to the U.S. statute of limitations. In Germany, the statute of limitations for art restitution is 30 years. Schubs is calling for a global restitution law that would require collectors holding disputed artworks in which there are no heirs to give the works over to an auction house. The proceeds, he said, should then be given over to organizations which help the victims of stolen artwork. Peter Delay, JN1, Berlin.